It, it, it terrified me. It, it really did. The quiet calm after the storm was quickly replaced by the sounds of saws and buzzing generators. Without skipping a beat, the community of Albemarle got to work Friday picking up the pieces of fallen trees, broken power lines, and debris-filled streets and sidewalks following Thursday's massive storm that packed a serious punch through the Carolinas, leaving thousands of residents without power. The damage in Stanley County... Oh, there's huge trees everywhere. This is just one of the many 75-year-old oak trees that fell during Thursday night's storm. And according to residents, when this tree uprooted, it fell across the street, knocking down the neighboring power lines. And then a few blocks away, this massive oak tree completely demolished this red Honda. I knew something was bad was going to happen. But none of that compares to the devastation left behind for Myra Windham and her family. I heard the popping, and I started running down the hall, screaming, the trees falling, the trees falling on our house. She was inside of her home of 30 years when that tree came crashing through her roof, shattering windows, caving bricks, splitting it in two. I got my three cats and my husband, and that's, that's what counts. Yes, it crumbled the walls of a home, but with all hands on deck to help, it built up the foundation of an already close community. And praise the Lord, this wasn't any worse. A feeling of gratitude following destruction. Blessed. We all survived it. A true sign of a resilient town that can weather any storm. Christina Well, WCCB News.